What is it, Caillou? Caillou was very excited to show Mommy what was in his shopping bag. Oh, roller skates. That looks like fun, Caillou. And good exercise, too. Yeah, that's why Daddy bought them for me. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> roller skating isn't for kitties, Gilbert. Rosie skate? <gasps> no, Rosie. You have to wait till you're bigger like me to learn how to roller skate. <laughs> Okay, Caillou. Let's grab your helmet and safety pads and we'll go to the park. The park? But I thought we were going roller skating. We are. There's a special path at the park just for roller skaters and cyclists. There is? Yay! Here we are. What do you think, Caillou? I like it. Can I skate now? As soon as we get your stuff on. There we go. Skates, check. Knee pads, check. Wrist guards, elbow pads, and helmet, check, check, and check. Why do I need to wear all of this stuff? For safety, Caillou, in case you fall. Fall? <laughs> no way. Roller skating is easy. Watch me, Daddy. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay. I just wish these skates weren't so wobbly. Whoa! Ah! I thought roller skating would be easy. Some activities are harder than others, Caillou. This is hard, all right. <laughs> It'll get easier, I promise. Whoa! As Caillou sat on the ground, he watched some of the bigger kids on their skates. He was amazed. <laughs> Whoa. I wish I could skate like them. You will be able to skate like them one day, Caillou. You just need a little practice. He wasn't convinced. He began to think he'd never learn how to roller skate. Caillou! Whoa! Whoa. Daniel, what are you doing here? Hey, Caillou. I'm trying out my new inline skates. They're very snazzy, Daniel. Maybe you'd like to have a pair like that one day, Caillou. Hmm. Caillou wasn't so sure. He could hardly skate in the ones he had. <laughs> <laughs> wow! How did you get to be so good, Daniel? Practice, I guess. I wasn't always good at skating. Really? Yeah. When I was about your age, I thought I would never learn how to roller skate. Whoa! Ugh. Oh, man. Yeah, I used to fall all the time. But I practiced and I practiced. I guess I got pretty good at it. Suddenly, Caillou felt much better. If Daniel could become a good skater, then maybe he could too. He shoots and scores a goal. I could show you some tricks to help you learn. What do you say? Yes, please. If you stretch your arms out, like this, it'll help you keep your balance. Hey, I'm not as wobbly. Now push off with one foot, like this, and then the other foot. Push and glide. Push and glide. That's it, Caillou. You're getting it. I'm still really wobbly. Hmm. I think I see the problem, Caillou. You're looking down at your feet while you're skating. 
my feet. That's right. If you look up at something else instead of your feet, you'll have better balance. But I don't know how to stop looking at my feet. I know. You can watch me while we play roller tag. Roller tag? Caillou loved tag, but he was worried he wouldn't be able to skate fast enough to catch Daniel. Don't worry. I won't skate fast. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's it. Come and get me. <laughs> huh? Come and get me! You can do it. Come on! Almost! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> gotcha! Did you see that, Daddy? I'm skating! Way to go, Caillou! I knew you could do it! Yeah, you're doing awesome! Yeah, awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna keep practicing so I get even better. <laughs> yeah, then when I outgrow my skates, you can have them. Really? Wow, thanks, Daniel. And you know what else? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou learned that practicing could be lots of fun, especially when it's done with a friend. It was a sunny summer day, and Caillou and Rosie were spending it with Grandma in her vegetable garden. What's this plant, Grandma? Those are Grandma's world-famous green beans. <laughs> That's silly. Beans can't be famous. Really? I always thought mine were. Wow, Rosie, you found baby tomatoes. Rosie, no! You can't pick the tomatoes. They're still too small. Caillou was worried because he thought the tomatoes weren't ready to be picked yet. It's all right, Rosie. You can pick them. Caillou, these are cherry tomatoes. They're supposed to be small. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What's this, Grandma? That's my lettuce. Or at least it should be my lettuce. It looks like something's been nibbling at the leaves. Oh, well. Come on back to the house, you two. I've got a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Bubble! <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Thanks. You're both very welcome. Maybe I can get some nice photos of the two of you blowing bubbles. <gasps> like this, Rosie. You have to blow. <gasps> <laughs> Say cheese. Caillou enjoyed having his picture taken. He especially loved seeing the picture after. Can I see it, Grandma? Of course. What's that, Grandma? <gasps> Grandma, it's a bunny rabbit! So that's the rascal who's been eating my lettuce. Can I please take a picture of the rabbit? Please? I want to show it to Mommy when she comes to pick us up. Well, you can try. Rabbits tend to be camera shy. But with a little perseverance, you might get a picture. What's perseverance? Perseverance. It means to not quit doing something, even if it's hard. Caillou was sure he had lots of perseverance. Well then, here you go, Caillou. I promise to be careful with it, Grandma. Rosie, see Wabbit too? Shh! Rosie, you'll scare it away. Wabbit, come play! Rosie! Shh! Bunnies are afraid of loud noises, Rosie. So if you and Caillou wanted to come out from under the shed, you'll have to be very quiet. Quiet? Quiet? Rosie, what are you doing? Rosie, quiet bunny! <sighs> Caillou 
was getting frustrated with his little bunny sister. He knew that the rabbit wouldn't come out if she kept hopping around. Rosie, you have to be quiet and stand still. <laughs> Grandma, how can I take a picture with Rosie here? <laughs> Rosie, sweetie, let's you and I go and play with the bubbles. Bubbles! Huh? Shoo! Shoo! wanted to take the bunny's picture, but he was feeling frustrated. Have you given up already? Yes. Hmm. Maybe you could try coaxing the rabbit out from under the shed with a nibble. A nibble? Yeah, Grandma. Why don't we use your lettuce? You're absolutely right. Let's go and see if we can pull up some lettuce for the rabbit. Rabbit snack. Rosie, help Caillou. No, Rosie, I can do it. <laughs> Ta da! Yay! <laughs> well done, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou waited and waited, hoping the rabbit would come out and eat the pieces of lettuce. <laughs> Say cheese, big fluffy clouds. Say cheese, flower. I don't think this bunny is ever going to come out. Say lettuce! Grandma, I did it! I took a picture of the bunny rabbit! Good for you, Caillou. You kept at it, and you finally got what you wanted. Bunny rabbit! Caillou was very pleased with his picture. It was worth waiting for. I can't wait to show it to Mommy! Well, Caillou, you're just going to have to wait for that as well. <laughs> Caillou really liked preschool. He liked playtime, snack time, and story time. But his favorite time of all was... All right, everyone, let's tidy up. It's time for... Show and Tell! brought an old-fashioned car. I've got a book about dinosaurs. You brought a dinosaur book last time. <laughs> yeah, but it was a different one. Clementine, did you forget to bring something for show and tell? Nope. I've got something to show, but it's a surprise. Caillou was very curious to see what Clementine's show and tell would be. Clementine, what would you like to show the class? how to do something. <gasps> oh! <gasps> wow! Oh, that's wonderful, Clementine. You learned to whistle. Ha, 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 ha. 
Caillou really wanted to be able to whistle, too. embarrassed that he couldn't do something that his friends could do. your day, honey. Honey? I can't whistle. Whistling is very hard, Caillou. It took me ages to figure it out. Try puckering up more. Hmm, let me guess. You're pretending to be the wind. No. Blow birthday candles? You're a chipmunk with your cheeks full of nuts. <laughs> no. Caillou's trying to whistle. But now it's time to take a break and eat. Okay, Mommy. Just keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Clementine whistled and a doggy ran right up to her. I'm going to teach Gilbert to come when I whistle. Hmm. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it may take a bit of practice. I'm going to practice and practice and practice. <gasps> Rosie! Caillou practiced and practiced and practiced. But he still couldn't whistle. Oops. <sighs> Time for bed, Caillou. I'm so proud of how hard you've been working at your whistling. But I still can't do it. Whistling is a very tricky thing. It can take a long, long time to learn how to do it. But Leo learned right away. Everyone learns at their own speed, Caillou. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. Good night. He knew Daddy was right, but eventually sounded like such a long, long way off. <sighs> Good morning, Caillou. Caillou! Rosie, whistle! You can? <gasps> <laughs> nice job, Rosie. Clementine just called Caillou. She's coming over to play after breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want to play with Clementine. Why not? She can whistle, and I can't. Whether you can whistle or not, Clementine is your friend. You don't want to miss out on a fun time, do you? Mm. When Daddy put it like that, Caillou saw how silly he was behaving. <laughs> <laughs> Clementine's here! What are you doing? I'm trying to wiggle my ears. I can do it. See? Cool. It's not as cool as whistling. I tried and tried and tried, and I still can't do it. Oh, uh, it takes a while. I worked at it for a whole week. You did? Hmm. 
Could you teach me how to whistle? Sure, but only if you teach me that wiggly ear trick. It's a deal! Caillou, let's get started. Caillou had realized it's easier to learn something new with a little help from a friend. We're almost there. Caillou and Leo were very excited. They were going to the ice rink to play hockey together. You didn't have me for a goalie. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Clementine. Do you want to play hockey with us? Hockey? Um, no thanks. We're already playing ringette. Ring it? What's ring it? It's ringette. And it's really fun. Do you want to play with us? Caillou had never heard of ringette before, but he didn't want to play that game. Can't we play hockey? <laughs> it's way more fun. Yeah. How do you know if you've never played ringette? I don't know. It just is. Uh-huh. Sorry, but we're already in the middle of a game. Caillou and Leo tried to play hockey in the snow, but it wasn't the same as playing on the ice. <sighs> nice shot. Thanks. Come on, boys. It's time to start heading back home. How come you didn't want to play with Sarah and Clementine? Because they're playing ringette. We wanted to play hockey. Hockey's better. Yeah! Ringette sounds too easy. I like hockey too. But maybe you could have given ringette a chance. Did you know Mommy used to play it? Mommy played ringette? Yes, and she was very good at it. She never told me that. Mommy, what do you know about ringette? Ringette? Oh, I think I know a little something. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't looked at these things in years. I used to be captain of my team. It was a lot of fun. Wow. So, how do you play? I'll show you. You know, I think this game is much better when it's played outside. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try a ringette stick, Caillou? No, thanks. Yours doesn't have a blade, like mine. This is true. Ringette sticks don't have blades, which makes it easier to do this. <gasps> hey! How about a little game of keep away? Huh? You know, you might find it easier if you try a ringette stick instead of using that old hockey stick. Caillou had decided Mommy was right. He was curious to see what it was like to play with a ringette stick. So you just need to catch that ring with this stick? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. Pass me the ring, Mommy. <gasps> I wasn't ready, but now I am. Caillou tried to catch huh? the ring, 
but it was much harder than he thought. Harder than Caillou thought. I did it! Woohoo! Good job, Caillou. You're learning. Uh huh. Now it's my turn to pass. Oops. Sorry. No problem. Wow! How did you do that? I've had lots of practice, but it's not so easy, is it? Especially when you're playing on ice, trying to score on the goalie in net. A goalie? Hmm. Caillou suddenly realized that ringette sounded an awful lot like another sport he knew. <gasps> hockey. Ringette is a lot like hockey, Mommy. Yes, that's true. And just like hockey, it takes a lot of practice in order to get good at it. Practice, huh? The next day, Caillou and Leo arrived at the ice rink early with Daddy. Did you watch the hockey game last night, Leo? Yeah. Well, until I went to bed. But did you see that goal? It was great. Hi, guys. Looks like you got here first. So I guess it's your turn to have the rink. Is it okay if we play hockey with you? Nope. Sorry, you can't. <gasps> <gasps> but we can all play ringette together! <laughs> I'm sorry for not wanting to play ringette with you before. I didn't know what it was, but now I do. It's a lot like hockey. Really? It's like hockey? Like hockey, because it's just as much fun. Yeah! From that day on, Caillou was happy to try new games. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were excited. Mommy and Daddy were taking them to the beach for the day. Perfect. I think we have everything we need. Wait, let's get some sunblock on before we go. <laughs> that tickles! Look, Mommy! The sun is hiding! I'm sure those clouds will drift away by the time we get to the beach. Now hop in! But soon it started raining. Caillou was worried he wouldn't get to play on the beach. Is the sun going to come out, Daddy? It's just a summer rain shower, Caillou. It'll stop by the time we get to the beach. <sighs> I hope. When the family arrived at the beach, it was still raining, just a little bit. Hmm, I don't know, kids. The beach looks awfully wet. Maybe we should head home and do something inside instead. No! We want to stay at the beach and have fun. Right, Rosie? Rosie, stay! Mommy, Daddy, look! The sun, see? It's peeking out. Please, can we play on the beach? We're here anyway. Okay, kids. We'll give it Yay! a try. This looks like a good spot. At least it's not crowded. Caillou was amazed at how different the beach looked without lots of people. Good thing we've got this sun umbrella to keep us dry. Yeah! Caillou wanted to laugh because Daddy looked so funny. But he was too worried Daddy might want to go home. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You're right, Rosie. Daddy made more rain. <laughs> Here you go, kids. Thanks. Thank you. Caillou felt happy. Everyone else seemed happy, too. He was sure they would have a wonderful day at the beach. Look, Daddy, seagulls. Where? Oopsie. Aw, oh, now look at that. There's sand in my sandwich. <laughs> Caillou wanted to make Daddy feel better. You can share my sandwich, Daddy. That's very nice of you, Caillou. It sure is. But luckily, I brought plenty of sandwiches. Hey, looks like it finally stopped raining. Caillou was happy it had stopped raining. He wanted to go and play. Come on, Rosie. Let's see if the waves can catch us. Here it comes. Run! Oh, I... <laughs> Show pretty! Yeah! Let's show Mommy and Daddy! Even our towels are all wet. This isn't the fun time we were hoping for, is it? Well... Oh! My hat! Caillou was having fun on the beach, but it didn't look like Mommy and Daddy were having any fun at all. Maybe we should make it an early day and head home soon. Caillou didn't want to go home yet. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy how much fun a day at the beach could be, even a rainy day. Look what we found! Say, that's a pretty nice clamshell. Let's go find more! Well, okay, just for a little while. I don't know why we were worried about the rain. We came to the beach to get wet anyway. Oh, no! Kids! My feet are gone! Where did they go? I know I had my feet at the picnic table. Do you think I left them in my sandals? <laughs> no! They're under the sand! <laughs> oh, phew! We found them! I'm so glad! <laughs> Look, Mommy! <laughs> we found Daddy's feet! Oh, Pete, you! Now what shall we do? They knew exactly what they wanted to do. All done. Do you like it, Daddy? I do. It's a terrific sand castle. Let's get a picture. Say cheese. I think the rain is coming back. This time, it really is time to go. So, did everyone have fun? Yeah! Fine. And what about Daddy? I sure did. You were right, Caillou. It was fun at the beach, even with all the rain. Yeah, I wish we could bring the beach home with us. Ten. Oh, dear. It looks like Rosie is bringing the beach home with us. That day, Caillou taught Mommy and Daddy a lesson about making the most of a rainy day. Rosie, finish! Caillou and Rosie were enjoying working on a puzzle together until... Hey, there's a piece missing. Good news, Caillou. I just spoke with Clementine's mommy. Clementine is coming over for the day. Yay, Clementine! <laughs> the puzzle piece.
cookies. I was sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> That must be Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. What do you want to play? Cars or trains or... Actually, Caillou, I'm taking both you and Clementine rock climbing. Rock climbing? Caillou couldn't imagine Mommy taking him rock climbing. Surely he'd heard her wrong. The community center is having an open house today. I thought you might like to give their rock climbing wall a try. Caillou liked going to the community center, but he still wasn't so sure about rock climbing. I love rock climbing. I've been before. It's fun. Great. Why don't you kids get ready so we can get going? Hi, I'm Samantha. I'll be your instructor for the day. Are we ready to have some fun? Yes! Okay, now first, we need to get you fitted for some handy-dandy equipment. Come on over here. It's always important to wear the right shoes and helmets on the climbing wall. Hmm, these look to be about your size. Try them on. How do they feel? Great! <laughs> I feel like a real rock climber. Now it's your turn, Caillou. <gasps> Don't be shy. Try them on. It's okay, Caillou. There. Now you look like a real rock climber, too. But, um, they're too small. Are you sure, Caillou? They seem to fit fine. Let's try on your helmet. There, look. It's a perfect fit. Really? It feels, um, kind of big. He knew the shoes and helmet fit fine. He was just feeling a little nervous. But he didn't know how to tell anyone. I'm sure they're okay, Caillou. Now, my little climbers, we need to rub this chalk on our hands before we start climbing. I'm not allowed to draw on my hands. It's okay, Caillou. The chalk is so your hands won't be slippery. That's right. Here, we want you to have messy hands. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the rock climbing wall. Yay! <sighs> so, what do you think? It looks like fun, right? Yes! Caillou was worried. The climbing wall wasn't as big as he imagined it, but it was still very tall. Can we climb now? <laughs> You're an eager beaver, aren't you? First, I need to show you how the harnesses and ropes work. This is how you'll be harnessed to the safety ropes. When you finish climbing the wall, you'll get a fun ride down to the bottom. Down? Don't worry. I'll be here the whole time in case you need any help. Okay, climbers. It's time to chalk and climb. Who wants to go first? Me, 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 me! Caillou wasn't ready to try rock climbing, but he hoped no one would notice. Caillou, this isn't hide-and-seek. It's rock climbing. <laughs> Let's get to the top and ring the bell. The top? You know, Caillou, rock climbing is actually much easier than it looks. Caillou finally decided he should tell Samantha and Mommy how he really felt. But it looks hard and scary. I'm glad you told me, Caillou, but I would never take you anywhere that wasn't safe. And it really is lots of fun. Hmm. You've climbed trees before, right, Caillou? At the park. What else have you climbed? Ladders with Daddy. 
Well, rock climbing is a lot like climbing a tree or a ladder. You climb one step at a time using the rocks for grips. This made Caillou feel much better. He was good at climbing trees and ladders. Maybe he could climb the rock wall. Do you think you could give it a try? I'll be here every step of the way. Okay. Remember, it's just like climbing a ladder, one step at a time. Caillou climbed up one step, and then another step, and another step. He was beginning to get good at it. I'm going to ring the bell first. <laughs> no way, I am. I did it! I really did it! Yay! Way to go! I knew you could. Go, guys! That was awesome! Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing really is lots of fun. Can, Can we, we go, go again? again? And that is how Caillou overcame his fear of rock climbing. Rosie were having fun playing together. Rosie liked copying her big brother. Huh? Hey. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's one sound you won't be able to copy, Rosie. Are you getting hungry, Caillou? Is it almost dinner time? It is, and it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's pizza night! I love pizza night! Did somebody mention pizza night? Hey! I have an idea. Why don't we make pizza tonight? But we always order pizza. It might be a nice change, Caillou. We have fresh dough in the refrigerator. And lots of yummy toppings, so we can make pizza just the way we like it. Caillou wasn't so sure. Making pizza seemed like it would take a long time. Wouldn't it be faster if the pizza man brought pizza to our house? Faster isn't always better, Caillou. Besides, there's nothing more fun than making homemade pizza. Okay, Mommy, I'm ready to help. First, you need to wash your hands. And you too, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough soap for now. Now that your hands are nice and clean, I have a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Every chef needs an apron. Flowers! And a dinosaur, just like Rexy. <laughs> now we look like real chefs, Rosie. Here you go. You each get some pizza dough. This doesn't look like pizza. That's because we have to turn it into pizza. And to do that, we have to knead and roll the dough. It feels squishy, like modeling clay. <laughs> you have pizza dough on your nose, Rosie, like a clown. <laughs> now, we're ready to roll the dough. Give it a try, Caillou. Back and forth with your rolling pin. <laughs> it's working. It's getting flat. That's it, Caillou. <laughs> Look, Rosie, there's one big pizza and two little ones. Can I have my own pizza, Daddy? Both you and Rosie can have your own pizza, and you can decorate it. But first, we need to put on some tomato sauce. I can do that. Oh, no! I got sauce on my apron. That's all right, Caillou. That's what aprons are for, to help keep your clothes clean while you work in the kitchen. Rosie thought her apron needed some pizza sauce, too. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough pizza sauce for now. It's time to put on the pizza toppings. Mmm! Tomatoes, chicken, spinach, onions, yuck! 
That's okay, Caillou. You don't have to put onions on your pizza. Caillou began decorating his pizza. He was being very careful not to let anyone see it. How's it going, Caillou? Great! I'm making a picture, but I want it to be a surprise. Do you like my pizza? It's a picture of me. Oh, yes, I can see that. It looks just like you, Caillou. I think it's time to put these pizzas in the oven. Can I help? Sorry, Caillou. This is a job for grown-ups. The oven is very hot. But you could help me set the timer. Okay. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Push this little button right here, Caillou. Now we'll wait for the timer to ring and tell us when the pizzas are done. Caillou didn't want to wait for the pizzas to be done. He wanted to eat right away. I'm hungry too, Caillou, but you can't rush a good pizza. Hmm. <sighs> he was growing tired of waiting for the timer to ring. Five more minutes. I don't think these pizzas are ever going to cook, Mommy. Maybe we should play for a few minutes until they're done. I know! We can play restaurant! I'll be the waiter and you can be my customers, okay? Okay. Okay. I've never been to Caillou's Pizza Parlor before. <gasps> what a lovely place! My name is Caillou and I'll be your waiter. Can I take your pizza order? Sure. Let's see. We'd like to order 22 pizzas, please. We're very hungry. <laughs> okay, what would you like on them? Caillou was having fun being a waiter. He even <laughs> pretended to write down his customers' orders. Let's see, we'll have one with chicken and mushrooms. Peppers! That's right, peppers. And how about a pineapple and ham pizza? <laughs> or maybe a cauliflower and mashed potato pizza. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Soon Caillou was laughing so much, he forgot all about the real pizzas cooking in the oven. Until... <laughs> Our pizzas! They're ready! So, what do you think, Caillou? It's yummy. I think we should make pizza every Friday night. It sounds to me like Caillou's Pizza Parlor is a big success. <laughs> it sure is. And that's how Caillou learned that making food at home can be lots of fun. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going away on an overnight trip. Something tells me you wouldn't be interested in a grown-up golf trip. <laughs> but who's going to take care of us? Don't you remember? Grandma and Grandpa are going to spend the night. Yay! Grandma, Grandpa! Grandma, Grandpa! That's probably them now. Grandpa! Hi there, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. It's our pleasure. We're going to have lots of fun, aren't we, kids? Yeah! Fun! <sighs> have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. Watching Mommy and Daddy leave gave Caillou a funny feeling in his tummy. But Rosie felt even worse. Okay, Rosie. There, there, Rosie. We're going to have so much fun together. You and I and Grandpa and Caillou. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Caillou noticed how quiet the house was without Mommy and Daddy. 
Who's hungry for grilled cheese sandwiches? Me! Me! me. <laughs> I'm hungry. Caillou loved grilled cheese sandwiches. He couldn't wait to eat lunch until Grandma served the sandwiches a little differently. That's not how Mommy makes them. She always cuts them straight across. Blue plate! Blue plate! And Mommy gives us blue plates with carrots, not celery. Not to worry. Grandpa and I just do things a little differently, but we'll work it out. Here you go. Oh, no. Those aren't for Caillou and Rosie. These ones are. Right, kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about these ones? For these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop. That's right. Yay! There. Now everybody's happy. Caillou and Rosie were happy. Grandma's grilled cheese sandwiches were almost as good as Mommy's. Grandpa, can you tie my shoe, please? I sure can. That's not the way Mommy does it. It's a double knot to make sure they're nice and snug. There, see? Now they're <laughs> super tied, never to come undone shoes. Caillou still wasn't sure he liked how Grandpa tied his shoes. But they certainly were very snug. Where's my paddle boat? I can't find it, Caillou. How about Froggy? No, I always have a bath with my paddle boat. Well, maybe you'll just have to do things differently this time. Froggy here could be lots of fun. Hey, can I try? Caillou had to admit Froggy was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a different pair of jammies. I want my horsey jammies. But they're in the wash, Caillou. Oh, well, I like different jammies. Maybe they'll fit me. Hmm. How do you put on pajamas? Does this go on your head? Or maybe you wear this like a cape. Or how about backwards? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wear jammies like this. Ah, so that's how it goes on. Let's see. Goldilocks and the Three Stairs. Bears! Oh, yes. Bears it is. One day, Goldilocks said, what a beautiful house in the forest. That's not Goldilocks. Mommy and Daddy do the voices differently. Oh, you mean Goldilocks should sound like this? No, Goldilocks. How about like this? No. Goldilocks talks like this. Hi, I'm Goldilocks. Ooh, then Mama Bear should sound like, uh, I'm Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no. no! Mama Bear talks like this. And Papa Bear talks like this. Can you like Grandma and Grandpa's new voices? <laughs> they were even sillier than Daddy's. <sighs> Oh, dear. We better finish this story. It's almost bedtime. Grandma, I know something different we could try. You do? What's that? Letting me and Rosie stay up late. <laughs> I think that might be a little too different for tonight. We're home! Hi. Did you have a nice trip? We sure did. <laughs> What's happening over here? Mommy! Daddy! We've decided it's okay to do things differently, like sitting upside down. Ooh, that's right. But I think sitting right side up is still my favorite. 
Do Grandma and Grandpa have to go now? Grandma and Grandpa, no go! I think we can stay a bit longer. Yay! Yay! Now, who wants grilled cheese sandwiches? With carrots. Me! Me! Me, Me too! Caillou and Rosie realize that doing things differently can be just as much fun. Did you have fun at preschool today, Caillou? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. A picture of Gilbert. Do you like it? I love it, Caillou. It looks just like him. We have a surprise for you, too. Grandpa's coming over, and he's going to take you somewhere special. That's probably him now. Grandpa, where are you taking me? <laughs> what? No hug, Caillou? <laughs> That's better. Now, I'll tell you. I'm going to take you bowling. Bowling? Caillou was surprised. He had never been bowling before. Isn't that for grown-ups? No, I learned how to bowl when I was your age. And now I'm going to teach you at the bowling alley. The bowling alley? Couldn't we just bowl in the backyard? I think you'll really like the bowling alley, Caillou. It has bowling pins and balls, and it's a fun place to get some exercise. What do you say we give it a try? OK. Here we are. At first, Caillou was a little nervous, especially when he heard the loud knocking of the pins. Yeah! But when Caillou looked around, he was pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, look! It's my friend Sarah! Sarah! Seeing a friend at the bowling alley made Caillou feel even better. Are we going to play now, Grandpa? As soon as we get our shoes. Can't I wear my own shoes? I'm afraid not, Caillou. These are special shoes made for bowling on the wooden alleys. This is my grandson's first time bowling. Well, you're in for a fun time there, laddie. Let's see. I'll put you in... Lane three. Lane three. Thanks, Amos. Now you look like a champion bowler. So we each get a few practice balls. And here's where we get them from. It's called the ball return. To be careful when we're grabbing a ball. We don't want the balls to pinch our fingers. OK, Grandpa. I'll be careful. Now, do you see those pins? The idea of the game is to knock down as many pins as you can. Each pin is worth points. This computer will keep track of our points and tell us our score. Now watch your old grandpa. I'll show you how to throw the ball. Wow, Grandpa! You knocked them all down! Indeed. When that happens, it's called a strike. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. Uh, it's heavy, Grandpa. Maybe you should roll the ball down the alley with both hands, like your friend Sarah. When the ball lands on the side like that, it's called a gutter ball. It happens to everyone, <laughs> even me. The trick is to aim the ball right down the middle. Try again. I did it! I knocked down a pin! Now Caillou was feeling more confident. <laughs> Hooray, Caillou! I knew you could do it. Now, there's one more thing I need to teach you. Really? What's that? My handy-dandy bowling high five. 
Now we're ready to play. Oh, do you think Sarah and her mom could play with us, Grandpa? Sure, I don't see why not. Let's ask them. A strike! Wow, your mom is good, just like Grandpa. Look at all the strikes. She plays on a team with other bowlers. They get lots of practice. It's your turn, Caillou. Yeah! I knocked down a pin! That's the way, Caillou. Caillou, you're doing very well. Thanks again for the game. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Sarah. That was fun. I'm glad you think so, Caillou, because I have another surprise for you. Caillou could hardly wait to see what the next surprise would be. So, did you have a good game? We sure did. Caillou bowled a terrific game for a beginner. Well then, this is for you. For me? But I didn't win. Everybody wins when they come out and try something new, Caillou. You deserve a ribbon. Wow, thanks. And I threw the ball and knocked down the pins and we wore special shoes. And look, the nice man at the counter gave me a ribbon. I'm so proud of you, Caillou. Yes, it sounds like you had lots of fun at the bowling alley. I did! Does this mean you'll go bowling with me again? Yes! Can we go tomorrow? Caillou had learned that it's always good to try new things, like bowling. <laughs> One day, Caillou just couldn't sit still. Caillou, play? No thanks, Rosie. He was excited because he knew today was a special day. Hi, Sarah. Guess what? What? Andre's coming over to play. That's nice. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe build some stuff with my building blocks? Andre might be too big for blocks. My cousin's older, too, and he mostly likes cars and sports. Well, have fun. Caillou was surprised. He thought everyone loved building blocks. Caillou was a little worried. What if Andre was too big for blocks? What if Andre was too big for all of Caillou's toys? Hmm. He wanted Andre to think of him as a big boy. Sorry, Rexy. So Caillou decided to hide all of his toys. his toys were put away, Caillou had a new problem. Now what are we going to play with? When will Andre be here? Very soon. Can I borrow this game? Honey, that's a grown-up game. I know. But you don't know how to play it. 
That's okay. Andre will. All right, if you really want to. Can I borrow that, too? You can keep it if you like. I was going to recycle it. But why? Thank you. Caillou thought his room looked very grown up. But he was worried that one game wouldn't be enough. Hmm. Have you seen my ball? It should be in there. All I can find are Rosie's baby toys. I didn't know Rosie liked Dino Mega Tramplers. Daddy, do big kids play catch? They sure do. In fact, I play catch every weekend with my ball team. It's great exercise. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. <gasps> Can I borrow that? My glove? It'd be awfully big. Caillou, Andre's here. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Andre. Want to play catch? Sure. I wish I brought my glove. Ready, Andre? Here's the wind-up. And the pitch! <gasps> Whoops! Sorry. Oops! Oh! <gasps> uh, I don't know what's wrong. I'm good at catch, really. Maybe you need a smaller glove. That one's twice as big as mine. Huh? Boys, are you ready for lunch? Yeah! Yeah! I'm starving. I hope you like veggie sticks and grilled cheese sandwiches. I love them. Me too. Mom, why'd you cut the crusts off? That's for little kids. It is? Well, I guess I'll leave them on next time. Sorry. Sometimes my mom forgets how big I am. <laughs> Mine do. Wow. Your room is really clean. Mine has toys all over the place. Hey. You like the Zoom Up 3000? Yeah, it's my favorite. What's your second favorite? Um, red cars? <gasps> hey, do you want to play this game? Sure. Um, how do you play this game? I thought you would know. I've never played it before. I can't find the spinner. Do you see any plastic parts? Maybe they fell out. <laughs> so here's all your toys. I knew they had to be somewhere. Nobody's that tidy. Uh, those are my old toys. I don't even play with them anymore. Why not? You have great stuff. Hey, I have the same train. Let's build a tunnel for it with the blocks. <gasps> You play with building blocks? Sure. You don't think blocks are babyish, do you? No, blocks are great. I have train tracks too. Is it okay if Rexy watches? Sure, why not? I'm never gonna be too big to play with toys. Rawr! Caillou and Andre played happily with the toys for the rest of the day. Today, Caillou was joining Mommy on her trip to the mall. For company, he brought along Augie, the super owl, who had a very special superpower. <coughs> what does Augie see, Caillou? Augie sees Daddy's golf clubs behind the seat in the trunk. Wow! It's pretty handy being able to see through things, isn't it? 
Augie also sees that my tummy is empty and needs some ice cream. <laughs> nice try. Mommy took Caillou to the store where they sell glasses. She had an appointment to see the eye doctor. Caillou hadn't spent much time thinking about his eyes before. Until today, he didn't know how important it was to get your eyes checked. Your vision looks good. Yay! Now it's my turn! Your turn? Well then, do you know your alphabet? Yes! Then I have just the test for you. It's called an eye chart. You hold this over one of your eyes. Then with your other eye, you read the alphabet letters in each row, saying them out loud for me. Ready? E. Good. Next row. F. P. The letters on the eye chart got smaller and smaller, but Caillou managed to read them all with both eyes. Even the teeny tiny letters. When the test was over, the eye doctor told Caillou that his vision wasn't just good, it was very good. Enjoy your new reading glasses. Mommy, you need glasses? But the eye doctor said your eyes were good. They are, but for some things I need special glasses to see properly. Like the special glasses that help Augie see through things? <laughs> no. Mine only help me read things up close. Like this. Can I get glasses too? You don't need them. Your vision is perfect, remember? Caillou was sure that wearing special glasses would help his eyes too. He wanted to be able to see through things like Augie could. Caillou really wanted his own pair of glasses. But he knew Mommy wouldn't get him a pair unless he couldn't see properly. Is that a dog on the cover, Mommy? No, it's a person. Really? Wow, you're right. It is a person. Are you having trouble seeing things up close all of a sudden? Yes. Hmm. What about far away things? Uh, yes, both. Well, we'd better be sure. What do you see over there? Uh, I think it's a horse. It's a motorcycle. Uh, see, Mommy, I do need glasses. Caillou! Look what I got for you. <gasps> A new soccer ball! Caillou, why is it that you can't see the motorcycle across the street, but you can easily see a soccer ball that's much smaller? Uh-oh. Is somebody having trouble with his eyes? <sighs> no, I'm not. I just really want my own glasses. Like Mommy and Augie. These are my old glasses, Caillou. Now that I have new ones, I don't need these anymore. Whoa! Thanks! They're empty. Glasses need lenses. That's what makes them glasses. Caillou suddenly had an idea to make his own lenses. Look! I'm like Augie! Those glasses look a little cloudy. No, I can see. I can see. <laughs> now that Caillou finally had his own glasses, he couldn't wait to see through walls and doors like Augie the Super Owl could. But no matter how long he stared at his closet, or how close he got, he couldn't see through it. Why aren't they working? Caillou thought maybe his glasses weren't working, because they weren't green like Augie's.
Caillou decided to test out his glasses on Gilbert's cat bed. He thought he could see a cat inside. Nice, Gilbert. Ew! You're not Gilbert! It was only when Caillou took off his glasses that he realized how sharp everything looked again. glasses back. I don't need them anymore. Are you sure? Yes. I can see much better without them. Besides, they don't work. What do you mean, Caillou? They don't light up, so I can't see through walls like Augie can. Oh, honey. No glasses can do that. I know. I was just hoping maybe they would. Hey, Caillou. There's some old glasses of mine you might like to try. They're not for seeing better. They're just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let me see through things, but they do make everyone laugh. That's even better. Caillou had realized how important his eyesight was, with or without glasses. <laughs> okay, raise those hands as high as you can and try to touch the sky. Now reach, and we're done. Wow, great job stretching, everyone. Now, I've got a treat for you. We're going to have a party tomorrow with lots of dancing. Yeah! Caillou yeah. was excited about the party until he realized he didn't know how to dance. I've never danced at a party before. Have you, Leo? No. But it sounds like fun. Okay, here we go. Caillou wanted to be ready for the dance party the next day. But he was afraid of making a mistake. Ah! Whoa, whoa, Gilbert! Whoa! whoa. Ah! Ah! You're right, Gilbert. I need help. Hey, Caillou. What are you doing? Well, um, there's a party tomorrow at preschool, and I don't know how to dance. I can show you. I used to be quite the dancer back in high school. Caillou was fascinated with Daddy's dance style. He wanted to try some of Daddy's moves. The key to dancing is to listen to the rhythm of the music. Oops. Oopsie! Sorry, Caillou. Looks like our dance lesson is over. Maybe Mommy could give you a few pointers. Okay. Thanks, Daddy. Mommy. Miss Martin is having a party tomorrow, with dancing. Oh, that sounds like fun. I guess so, but I'm not sure how to dance. There's no right or wrong way, Caillou. To each his own. Can you show me how you dance? <laughs> well, I did take ballet lessons for many years. Caillou was amazed. He had no idea his mommy could dance so well. Whoa, whoa, oops. Wow. Whoa. <gasps> Thanks, mommy. But I don't think this kind of dancing is for me. <laughs> oh! Rosie, honey, time to put that away now. Grandma and Grandpa are here. Grandma, Grandpa, there's a party tomorrow at preschool. Can you show me how to dance? 
Oh, hold up there, Rosie. Can I have the remote control for a moment? My lady, it's time to tango. Very impressed with Grandma and Grandpa's dancing. He wanted to try it too. Rosie, tango. Lovely tango. Don't worry, we'll get that later. You did a great job, Caillou and Rosie. Caillou wasn't convinced. In fact, he was more confused than ever. There were so many different ways to dance, but he didn't seem to be good at any of them. <sighs> Even Rosie knows how to dance. Everybody can dance but me. <laughs> the next day, Caillou was unusually quiet on his way to preschool. Is anything wrong, Caillou? I still don't know how to dance. What am I gonna do? The party is today. Caillou, there's no right or wrong way to dance. The important thing is to have fun. I guess so. <laughs> You'll have lots of fun. You'll see. Are we all ready to dance? Yeah! 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 <laughs> Come on, join me! Miss Martin was having so much fun dancing. Caillou seemed to forget all about how nervous he was. Caillou decided his classmates shouldn't have all the fun. He was going to give it a try. Caillou was really getting into the swing of things. So much so, he decided to try a few of his own dance steps. Yeah, yeah! Woohoo! Look at Caillou go! Yeah, yeah! Wow, nice moves, Caillou! What's your secret? I learned that it doesn't matter how you dance, as long as you're having fun. <laughs> well said, Caillou. <laughs> Look, Mommy. I'm a bunny. I'm a giraffe. I'm a dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> Let's see if you can be a galloping horse. We're going to be late for school if we don't hurry up. It's a good day for shadows, isn't it, Caillou? Yes, that's because there aren't any clouds. When clouds cover up the sun, there aren't any shadows. My goodness, you know a lot about shadows. Caillou was very excited when Miss Martin said they could make more shadows inside. <gasps> oh! We can pretend that this flashlight is our sun. Who wants to make shadows? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Look! What happens when a cloud comes along? Caillou? The cloud.
road blocks the sun's light so there's no shadow. That's right, Caillou. You know a lot about shadows. You must be a scientist. Scientists are people who study and learn about the world around us. Caillou was very proud to be a scientist. Do you want to play dinosaur shadows when we go outside at lunchtime? Yeah. But at lunchtime, <laughs> Caillou had a big surprise. Rawr! Oh. Where'd our shadows go, Caillou? Caillou thought he knew everything about shadows, but he didn't know the answer to that. Race you to the slide! He did have a shadow, but it was only teeny tiny. Caillou was very disappointed. Caillou, what's the matter? Caillou liked being a scientist. He didn't want to admit he didn't know why his shadow had disappeared. But he also really, really wanted to know why it had disappeared. Miss Martin, why is my shadow gone? That's a very good question, Caillou. Let's talk about it inside. Caillou has a question. Can you repeat it for everyone, please? Don't be shy. Scientists ask questions like this all the time. They do? Oh, yes. Even scientists can learn more about things. And the way to learn more is to be curious and ask questions. Why didn't I have a shadow when I went outside at lunchtime? Let's all be scientists and try to solve this problem. First, what do we know about shadows? Shadows are made when something is in front of a light. Right. And when we're outside, that bright light is... The sun! Exactly. Now, is the sun always in the same place in the sky? When I get up early, I can see the sun rising. It comes up behind the house across the street. And at night, it goes down again. Now we're thinking like scientists. So, the sun can be seen in different places in the sky. When the sun moves, the shadows move too. Yes. Where was the sun when we went outside at lunchtime, Caillou? Caillou thought very hard and suddenly remembered. I remember. It was straight up above my head. Right. Now let's create the same situation in our lab. Lab? <laughs> That's what we call our room when we're being scientists. It's short for laboratory. This is sunrise. That's what your shadow looked like this morning, right, Caillou? Yeah! Now let's put the sun where it was at lunchtime. The shadow is gone! Now, Caillou, what do you think will happen next? Hmm, let's see. Here's the sun at lunchtime, and then the sun goes down at sunset. That means the shadows are going to come back later. You've just done what scientists do, Caillou. You asked a question, looked at the facts, and made a guess about what will happen. Later, we'll go outside to see if Caillou's guess is right. Caillou was very excited to be a scientist, but he was a little nervous about his guess. Would he be right or wrong? In a pocket full of posies, asha, asha, we all fall down. Whoa! <laughs> well done. Now, who would like to go outside to see if Caillou is right and our shadows are back? Yeah! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh no! Woohoo! Yeah! 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 <laughs> hmm. There you are. You are a very good scientist, Caillou. Do you know why? 
Because I was right? <laughs> and why else? Because I asked questions. Exactly. Miss Martin, I've got another question. Yes, Caillou? Can we play Shadow Tag? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll get you, Leo. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Caillou learned how important it was and how much fun it could be to ask questions. Caillou was excited. His older friend Daniel was coming over for the weekend while his parents were away. When is Daniel coming, Mommy? I'm sure he'll be here soon, Caillou. Are you excited? Yeah, Daniel's fun. He knows how to skateboard, and he can whistle, and he knows all about dinosaurs. Daniel knows a lot of things, doesn't he? Daniel knows everything. <laughs> everything? Really? He's here! Hi, Daniel! Hey, Caillou! How's it going? <laughs> Come on, let's play! Stegosaurus is the best dinosaur. It's got armor and spikes! Nah, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. The T-Rex is the king of the dinosaurs. Grrr! Caillou thought Daniel knew everything about dinosaurs. He figured he must be right. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. Stegosauruses are silly. Actually, I'm not so into dinosaurs anymore. Check this out. An airplane? Yeah, airplanes are so cool. Caillou wanted to be just like Daniel, so he agreed with him. Yeah, airplanes are cool. They're my, uh, favorite. Awesome. What planes have you got? Uh, I don't know. Caillou looked, but the only plane he had was a model Grandpa had given him. And it wasn't put together yet. I don't have any. Sorry, Daniel. That's okay. I'll make one. Caillou watched in amazement as Daniel quickly folded up the paper. An airplane! Yep. Watch this. <gasps> wow! Wow! Can I make one? Sure. It's easy. You just fold your paper like this. And then on the other side. Yep. Here, look. See? All ready for takeoff? Ready! Three, two, one! One! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Your plane flew way better than mine. Hey, that was pretty good for your first time. I'm thirsty. Is it okay if we get a drink? Sure. Hang on. Caillou was thirsty, too. But the paper aeroplanes had given him a fun idea. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? I see. <laughs> it's a secret message. I'm guessing somebody is thirsty. We are, Mommy. Can we have a drink? Plane fly? Daniel's planes fly even better. They're awesome. My dad taught me how to make them. Caillou, have you shown Daniel the model plane Grandpa gave you? No, it's not put together yet. It's not? Then we should build it. Yeah, I'll go get it. Have fun. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. This is going to be cool. Yeah. <gasps> it looks hard to make. 
No, nah, it's easy. We don't need any instructions. See? Caillou wasn't as confident as Daniel. But the picture helped him figure out how the parts should go together. Caillou felt proud. He had put two pieces of the airplane's tail together. Look, Daniel! Awesome, Caillou! Look, our plane's all done and ready to fly. Caillou thought the plane didn't look quite right. Daniel, our plane doesn't look like the one in the picture. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Now let's get flying. Caillou still wasn't sure, but he thought Daniel knew everything. So he must have been right about the plane. Pilot to co-pilot, ready for takeoff? Ready! Then let's go! Yay! <gasps> oh man. There must be something wrong with the plane. Rotten luck. Oh well. Come on, Caillou. We may as well go back inside. Caillou was sure the wings on the plane didn't look right. He decided he would fix them. Daniel, maybe the wings were on backwards. Maybe you're right, Caillou. I guess it's worth a try. Woohoo! Look at it go! It works! Wow, Caillou! You fixed it! I guess I should have paid attention to the instructions. You sure know a lot of stuff. Thanks! Pilot to co-pilot, prepare for takeoff. Caillou was very proud. He realized even someone his age could teach an older friend a thing or two. That was a lot of work. Caillou's daddy had spent the whole afternoon raking leaves in their yard. All those leaves! That's right. Every autumn it's the same thing. All the trees drop their leaves, and it's my job to clean them up. Whoa! I can't wait till I'm a daddy and I get to do all the fun jobs. <laughs> well, if you think raking the leaves is fun, I know another fall activity you'll really love. Jump right into the middle of the pile. <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Caillou was having a wonderful time. He never knew that jumping into leaves could be so much fun. Again! Wow! We've been jumping for a long time, Caillou. I think we'd better call it a day. It'll be dinner time soon. Caillou was disappointed. He didn't want his leaf jumping fun to end. Oh, can I keep jumping, Daddy? I'm having fun. Sorry to be a spoil sport, Caillou, but it's time to tidy up. Come back here. <laughs> hmm, this could be a problem. How about some help, Caillou? Okay. All done. You see, Caillou, there's always a way to figure out a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Let's go inside. But, Daddy, when will I get to jump in the leaves again? Oh, probably not till next fall, but... Maybe you can find something else to jump on. 
Caillou thought that sounded like a good idea, but he wondered what could possibly be as much fun as jumping on a pile of leaves. Uh, Caillou, what are you doing? I was going to jump on the cushions. On the cushions? Oh, I don't know if I like that idea. But, Mommy, I was just pretending it was a leaf pile. Oh, I see. Well, perhaps you can find a leaf pile somewhere else. <sighs> okay, Mommy. Mommy had said it wasn't a good idea to jump on the couch, but she never said anything about Caillou's bed. Bouncy! Caillou? What are you doing? I'm, um, trying to find something else to jump on. Caillou, jumping is fun, I know, but your bed isn't the right something else to jump on. I think it's better for sleeping in, don't you? There's still a little time before dinner. Why don't you see if Rosie will let you jump on her beanbag? That's always fun. Yeah, Rosie's beanbag! Caillou thought he had found the perfect thing to jump on. Caillou! Story time! Sorry, Rosie. I don't want to look at stories. I want to jump. Can you get up so I can use your beanbag? Story time! I have a great idea. Let's share it. Ugh. Squeeze over, Rosie. Caillou and Rosie tried to share the beanbag chair, but there just wasn't enough room for both of them. No room, no room. Ugh. Oh, I can't jump anywhere. Bye, Caillou. Caillou was feeling a little frustrated. He couldn't think of any place where he could jump and have fun, other than the leaf pile. <gasps> Gilbert's bed! Meow. Oh! Meow. Gilbert! I was just going to jump there! <laughs> you see, Caillou, there's always a way to solve a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! That's it! Daddy grabbed up all the leaves with his fingers. My pillow! <laughs> yeah! Caillou wondered what else he could add to the pile. Whee! Caillou's daddy had been right. There was always a way to figure out a problem. <sighs> this is going to be the bounciest pile ever! Wow, looks like you're having fun. Yeah, I made my own leaf pile. I guess you won't have to wait till fall now. And I'm sure you'll clean up your room when you're done, right? <laughs> yes, I'll make sure I rake it all up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to be a spoil sport, but dinner's almost ready. I hope you've bounced up a good appetite. I'll be down in a minute. Caillou was so happy. He had made a wonderful new leaf pile to jump on. And he even had some company. Rosie jumped too? And that's how Caillou realized he could solve a problem with a little imagination. <laughs>